Hey, Autodesk just released an update to Fusion 360 that's very exciting. We finally have a conditional operator that we can use in uh, our user parameters. And I just whipped up a quick example here to show how it works. And another question came up wondering if nested if statements would work as, as part of this conditional update. And the answer is yes. So I'm going to show that I, I set up two parameters here, a printer ID, which I'm using um, as a kind of a conditional operator that will be used to, for the, to do the logic comparison. So I have four printers. I have a Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon. I have a couple of Creality printers. I have an Ender 3 and a CR10S. And then I also have a machine I built, a Layer Fuse um, X301. So I'm, uh, I'm, I set up this parameter called support gap that I want to change based on the printer that I'm going to send this model to. Now, if the printer is my Bamboo Labs, I, I set this value to 1. Uh, if it's the Ender 3, I set it to 2. If it's the CR10, I set it to 3. And the X301, I set it to 4. And then the logic here is saying, the conditional logic is saying, if the printer ID is equal to 1, which is my Bamboo, I'm going to set that support gap to 0 0.5, uh, which is a millimeter value. You can see the unit over here. And then the nested part says if the printer ID is 4, which is my X301 printer, which I usually have a larger nozzle on, a 0.6 or a 0.8 nozzle, I want that gap to go up to um, 1 millimeter. And if it's anything else, meaning the Creality printers, then I want that gap to be 0.75. So the way this works, and if you kind of watch the little gaps I have going here in my model behind it, um, if I change this value to a 2, to my Ender 3, you'll see that it recalculates based on the conditional logic here and recalculates that to 0.75, which is exactly what we want. If I kick it up to my X301, that's printer number 4, my gap increases to 1 millimeter. And if I take it back to a 3 for my CR10, it falls back to 0.75, and then again my bamboo, if I put it at a 1, the value changes to my 0.5. So when I designed this thin extrude that creates these gaps, the wall thickness is based on this support gap. So there's a quick demo um, without a lot of detail, but it just shows that we have this new option in user parameters, and you, uh, which you can use conditional if statements, and you can nest them. So. Go oh, have fun. It's really, really, really cool.